concerning the Jezebel spirit. Jezebel displays angry, vicious, and sometimes violent behavior when opposed. She will turn on the one who refuses to do her will or submit to her, especially if she has been successful in manipulating this person in the past, frequently with vicious, berating verbal attacks aimed at humiliation. The emotional damage caused by these outbreaks can be devastating to the one at whom she directed her wrath. This is often the source of terrible emotional wounds for her children and spouse. When this angry behavior happens in public, it often exposes the true spirit in operation to others who may have been previously deceived. No is the operative word for Jezebel. When those in spiritual authority say no to her, she is ready for war. Remember, Jezebel is a warring spirit who is always dressed for battle. Have you ever felt insecure? Be careful. Jezebel loves to flow in the realm of insecurity. In addition to destroying those around her, Jezebel especially hates the victim she is controlling. Remember, the mission of Jezebel to kill the prophets. The victim is often herself anointed of God to be prophetic and will ultimately cause her victim to self-destruct. This is the Black Widow Spider Syndrome of the Jezebel spirit. Black Widow Spiders kill their mates. In the spirit realm, there are two applications. One, the Jezebel seeks to kill the male authority figure or prophet, and two, she seeks to kill her victim which is made it to her when Jezebel takes control of their life. Jezebel's rival authority, which means to despise or show no respect for it. Building on fear of authority, especially since men are frequently the authority figures who originally hurt them, coupled with rebellion, she hates anyone placed in authority over her and seeks to destroy them and take their power. An early manifestation in childhood is a lack of respect for self or others and no respect for positions, either theirs or others. Jezebel is a classic backstabber. She will smile at you, give you a hug and a kiss, and then, as soon as you turn around, stab you in the back, repeatedly with vigor enjoying every wound she inflicts. She is a most vicious and devious spirit. Beware. Control and manipulation are the strongest parts of the Jezebel nature. These are the spirits of witchcraft and are extremely dangerous. Nearly everything that Jezebel does utilizes one or both spirits to attain her goal. Jezebel is the ultimate manipulator, and nobody is better at manipulation than the person, victim, being controlled by this spirit. But Jezebel cannot control you until she first seduces you. Beware of flattery, smooth prophetic sayings, and seducing tears from this spirit. Jezebel loves false spiritual government. She knows how to create, flow, and operate in it. She views children as tools and weapons to manipulate your heart to advance her goals. Jezebel is like a shark. She is most vicious and dangerous. She circles the lives of others looking for teachable, seducible, controllable disciples of her own. Jezebel likes to birth spiritual children of her own as she looks for disciples to eat from her own table. She will look for those that are in rebellion, who are weak, wounded, or those who are contending and fighting spiritual authority. She knows how to use deep emotional hurts and wounds to manipulate and control as she creates soul ties with you. 
Jezebel loves to pull people under herself and away from those who can truly speak into their lives. Jezebel knows how to stir you up because she flows best in whirlwind of confusion and turmoil. She probes your soul, looking for your weaknesses. She is expert at developing soul ties and often does so. As previously mentioned, Jezebel will use any tool available to manipulate those around her to do her will. She often uses fear to manipulate people into submission. Jezebel is very possessive and domineering. She wants to control you. Jezebel loves power. Give me, give me, give me. You see, money is not really the issue with this spirit. It's power and authority that she's after. She likes to be in control of your life because she draws her strength from controlling you. That's why you feel spiritually drained after contending with her. The Jezebel principality wants to control you. She uses self-pity and her own weaknesses to manipulate another into submitting to her out of compassion or pity. She will even use prayer to manipulate the one she is attempting to control, especially prayers prayed audibly over that person to create the illusion that doing Jezebel's will is actually obeying God, or to generate fear or other emotion within the person which the Jezebel can use for the manipulation. Even though often powerfully gifted of the Lord, the Jezebel will frequently operate in the false discernment of the enemy by speaking words of knowledge gained from familiar spirits and not from the Spirit of God. This is witchcraft. The power of witchcraft is derived from Satan himself. Every attempt at manipulation or control sells out more to Satan and strengthens the deception that Jezebel is under. If you get between Jezebel and the person she is trying to control, she'll attack you viciously, trying her best to destroy your relationship with that person. She will try and destroy your reputation, set you up, and to separate you from her victim. Jezebels are attracted to people of power like moths to a flame. She'll connect herself with presidents, people in the media, people who have money, people of power. Often, a very intelligent, efficient, attractive, and even blatant Jezebel can be found serving at the feet of prominent leaders, even in the church. The deception and or seduction of the Jezebel is often so successful that the leader does not recognize who is at his right hand. The Jezebel's true desire is to risk the power from the person being served. If that person is prophetic in nature, the actual mission is to destroy them by any means available. Destroy their credibility, undermine their authority, discredit their ministry, cause them to fall in sexual temptation, etc. The Jezebel is extremely bossy by nature, though subtly with the low profile type. She is easily offended if her authority is questioned and will often respond with extreme anger at even the slightest offense. Is that right? Global and